Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Mundo. Welcome to my channel. Go ahead and like and subscribe. So, damn, man. I'm just watching the NBA, and I just think the NBA is in a weird place. A very weird place. I just saw Dame lost, and the Lakers are getting blown out. It made me think, man, that the NBA's culture of the championship of bust is so lame. I like players playing for championships, but the only way to get it is to stack a deck or get multiple all-NBA players on the same team, which is just very stupid. I want to see these players play against each other, not get on the same team. What's the purpose of all this shit? Like, the problem with it is people act like you're a loser if you don't win an NBA championship, but the only way to win a championship is if you stack the deck. So inadvertently, you're saying that I'm a loser because I don't join other all-NBA players. What the hell is that? I mean, I like Skip Bayless, but I personally blame him for all this nonsense. He really is the catalyst of this bullshit. It really is the laziest way to appraise a player's greatness. Oh, how many championships did he win? It's so lazy and dumb. Ideally, the NBA would be better if all the players were spread out and we really got to see what all the players were made out of. Like, I want to see Giannis versus AD, not Giannis versus AD and LeBron. Like, I want to see who's better between them two, and I'll never know that. I think the winning thing is cool, but I think we all subconsciously know that that's a dumb way to appraise a player because Steph didn't even make the playoffs, and I think this is his best season, and a lot of y'all do too. Some of y'all were calling him the MVP. He didn't even do anything. He didn't go anywhere doing anything. So uh, subconsciously, everybody knows better. The problem with the NBA is that there's no mystery. It's not the team with the player, the most all-NBA players wins the ring. It's, it's really that simple. It's not that complex. That's why the Nets are going to kill the Bucks. I'm taking bets. The Nets are going to kill the Bucks. It's not going to be close. So, like, teams without multiple superstars don't go far. So, like, some of y'all call LeBron the GOAT, right? And he, when he got to the Lakers, he didn't have anybody. He didn't make the playoffs. And the next year, he, AD came. AD literally led the team in all statistical categories except assists and... Y'all said that LeBron was the MVP. LeBron wins a chip. This year, AD gets hurt. The Lakers look terrible. LeBron can't win a game without him. In the playoffs, they're getting ran. Like, so what is it? Is he, is he great? Like, is it AD? Which one is it? Steph, too. I mean, y'all, he's a championship guy. He three rings. And this year, he didn't play with a superstar. And he didn't make the playoffs. So, Okay. Subconsciously, y'all don't see Dame on Steph's level, which is kind of stupid. I mean, I don't, I don't think Steph's that much better than Dame. I don't, even, I don't really think Steph's better than Dame, to be honest with you. But it's because Dame doesn't have a chip. But if Dame were to join the Nets, now he's a, he's a championship guy and he's, like, he's really good. He's, he's elevated. He gets it now. It's just dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. If this, if this is going to be the culture, the NBA needs to get, get with the times and stop being greedy. First of all, they need to knock down the regular season to like 50 games. Say, because these players, they don't want to play the regular season. They say it doesn't matter. Okay, that's cool. 50 games, let's make it more interesting. Then the, the NBA needs to knock out some teams, maybe 21. I say like 16. 16 teams. So everybody can have multiple all-stars. Let's really see people compete. If y'all want to be on the same team, then be on the same team. Just make it a little bit more fair so everybody has a shot, so we can really learn something about the NBA players. We can actually watch competition. Anyway, just my thoughts. I'm out.